Yo, hello guys. I usually don't like to do the full-on screen capture or record, but this I couldn't get my OBS to do it properly, so here we are. Okay, so we see a bullshit headline come out, right? Which is uh, an excuse for um, the NASDAQ to go down into this um, very long hourly wick. Now, what does ICT teach about very long wicks? They are inefficiencies similar to fair value gaps, liquidity voids, and volume imbalances. They are signatures that the trading algorithms are going to want to converge on at some point or another. Usually, as you know, I like to say that they converge, um, you know, during the during the silver bullet times. Here's here's what I got to tell you, folks. The news is bullshit. Like. This right here, this is, I'm a licensed attorney, and I'm just like, this is all bullshit. It's bullshit to do. Uh, is fake. It's fake news, folks. It doesn't matter uh, at all, whatsoever. Um, if every time that the market makes a move, like the NASDAQ goes down over a percent today, over some, you know, they, they're always going to try and smoke screen it as some sort of bullshit fake news. Um, guys, if you're still trying to trade the news, if you're actually reading this bullshit and thinking that it's real, it's not real, guys. It's not real. I don't know if it's AI generated. I don't know if fucking BlackRock pays people to write these bullshit articles. It's all fake. It's all fake, folks. The market is automated automated to the core. The market is, you need to get it in your head. These markets are automated. They are automated. And so every time that you read a news article like this and you think in your head, oh, actually, ICT Michael Reese got it wrong. Just remember what I'm telling you right now. It's all fake. It's AI generated or it's fake bullshit. The markets are automated, okay? And whenever they come out with a bullshit news article like this, it doesn't it, it's it's just a smoke screen. The price was already gonna go where it was gonna go. It was already gonna come back and trade into this long wick inefficiency. It was already going to do that. Doesn't mean that you're going to literally profit on every single trade, folks. That is not what I'm saying. So get it out of your head that I'm saying because the markets are automated, therefore, oh well obviously obviously Reese only makes money, right? No, that's not what I'm saying. There's still a matter of interpreting what the trading algorithms are doing. But knowing the fact that the markets are automated is a big premise that you've got to get over. You've got to get over that hurdle. You can't even think in the back of your head, oh, oh, well, maybe, maybe actually he's wrong. No, you need to actually believe it. Like the markets are automated. This is all, all these news articles, all like mainstream, all that bullshit, all fake. The market is driven by trading algorithms. That is it. It's either one big trading algorithm or it's many, many trading algorithms, and it doesn't matter. Either way, the market is automated. If it's not a surprise rate announcement, if it's not a terrorist attack, if it, there's not anthrax in the street, folks, if it's not smallpox, it's not human, okay? And any news article you read is just bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You need to, you need to get that through your head. Get it through your head. Okay, if Jerome Powell's talking, price was already going to go there. Okay, if it's not a surprise rate, if it's not a surprise rate announcement, if it's not a terrorist attack, if it's not another Corona, and even Corona might have already been factored in. I don't know. The markets are automated at all times. If it's not a fucking terrorist attack, stop reading your bullshit news articles. Okay, that is all.